Hey guys, we are in the basement and today we're going to do another tech video. Today we're going to do something that I've been wanting to do actually for a long time to my revenge for Mars and that is to upgrade the software to the latest version. I've actually been a little scared to do it for some time simply because, well, you know, I don't want to brick my game. Um, and basically how we're going to do this is we're going to hook up computer up to the game and we're going to load the new, the latest software onto uh, the computer that's in here by transferring from a PC to this. And uh, so the first thing you want to do though, if you're thinking about doing this, you probably should know which version you have. Um, and you do that by going in the menu system. So why don't we go ahead and do that. And uh, the latest version, so let's get into the menu here. And uh, let's see, um, read test report, diagnostics, um, where is that? Let's see, utility, system information, okay. So if you go to utilities, system information, you'll see here that I'm running game version 1.4, which actually is not bad because uh, the latest version, well, the latest published version is 1.5. Uh, the last version they actually made was 1.6. Um, so I actually have 1.6. We're going to put that on here. Um, but I'll show you guys kind of uh, how to do that. And, and I, I, by the way, I've never done this before, so we're kind of learning together here. Um, but so I have 1.4. Um, if you have an older version like 1.0 or 1.2, you really need to upgrade because they made a lot of significant fixes and changes, mostly with 1.4. So this is actually uh, the best version to have if you're not going to upgrade. Uh, 1.5 has some very minor revision changes, and, and 1.6 does as well. So anyway, let me. Why don't we go to the computer over here and let's just kind of talk about what you're going to need to upgrade to the latest version. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is, well, you need a, a PC. So we're going to bring my PC, uh, my trusty old Athlon XP computer over to the Revenge from Mars. Um, you're going to need what they call a null modem cable. Um, I ordered this on Amazon for $5. Um, it's a null modem cable and it plugs, this is going to plug to the back of the computer, I think at the serial port, and then the other end is going to plug into the Revenge from Mars by the coin door. There's actually a little like serial port. Um, and then you're going to need to go to planetarypinball.com, um, which is this site that I have up right here. And you need to download basically two files. Um, you need to when when you, when you go to Planetary Pinball, uh, it's going to look like this, um, and it's planetarypinball.com. Uh, you're going to go to products. Actually, you're going to go to Williams Bally. Um, go to go to technical support. Um, then you're going to go to Pinball 2000 support, which is right here. Um, and then basically right here we have our files that we need. We're going to need the update manager. Um, which is a file that's going to allow us to connect to the computer, uh, to the Revenge from Mars using a computer. And then you're also going to need the uh, game software files and upgrades. And when you go here, you're going to see the, the latest version for Revenge from Mars. And by the way, this also applies to Star Wars Episode One, what we're going to be talking about. Um, but, but I don't have a Star Wars, so we're going to do Revenge from Mars. So um, here they have Revenge from Mars 1.5, which is the latest... Uh, version that that seems to be available readily uh there is 1.6 out there um that i guess was released on what they call a pub card which is a card that plugs into the revenge from mars computer um i guess some guys figured out figured out a way to get the software off of that pub card and so the 1.6 version is floating around out there and that's what i have and that's what we're going to use um but if you didn't have the 1.6 you can grab 1.5 from here at planetary pinball um and if you want to look here at revision history you can kind of see uh, the changes that were made to the game over time um, you know the first version they released in May of 1999 version 1.0 um, and then the version 1.5 came out July 31st 2000 um, you'll see that on 1.4 and 1.3 and actually 1.2 I mean there is a lot of changes here uh, so if you're rocking 1.0 or 1.1 or 1.2 you or 3 you really should do this because um, 1.4 actually fixed a game breaking bug in Martian bowling um, that would also that would cause the game to reset so if you've got an older version you got to do this upgrade um, now I, I have 1.4 so I've never really felt the need the strong need to upgrade because 1.5 
doesn't really add much of anything. It just says updates to the latest operating system. So I don't even know what it's going to add. Uh, and then 1.6 makes some changes to something with the, the way the game boots, um, some error or something like that. Um, but anyway, so, you know, let's do this because... I want the latest version on my game. Why not? Um, so anyway, I already downloaded uh, the upgrade, uh, the up, the Pin 2000 up up uh, update manager, and I also have the Pin 2K files here. So I tell you what, why don't I put these on my PC, and then let's bring the PC over to my Revenge from Mars, and start going through this process. So be right back. Okay, I have the uh, the PC over here, and by the way, I, again, I'm, I'm using a Windows XP computer. Um, I don't know if this will work with uh, Windows 7 and Windows 8. I don't even know if it's going to work with XP, to be honest, but I think it will. I, I know that the requirements for the software on the site say, like, uh, uh, Windows 95 and 98 and, and 2000, but I think that was written at a time that where XP wasn't released yet. So, okay, so why don't we, the first thing we're going to do, let's hook up this cable. Um, so here's our no modem cable. Now if you look on the inside of the coin door here on the game, there's a port right there and that's what we're gonna plug into. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that. And again, I bought this cable at Amazon. Um, it was about five dollars. It's a null N U N L, I'm sorry, N U L L null modem cable. And uh, I can put a link uh, in the video show notes uh, to Amazon um, showing the exact one I ordered. So, all right, I'm trying to get this, this twist tie off of here. Okay, so we've got the cable free. Um, and it looks like on the cable, both ends are exactly the same. So let's go ahead and plug one of the ends here. Now I'm doing this with the game on. Uh, I, I hope that's not a problem. <laughs> So, all right, so we're screwing this in here. Um, I don't see why it would be a problem to plug this in with the game on. Um, and then the other end here, we're going to plug into our PC. Um, again, I'm using an old school PC. This is an Athlon 800. I mean, this computer is uh, about 10, 12 years old. So I've got two serial ports here. Um, I, don't, I don't think it matters. I think it's like COM1 and COM2 maybe. So why don't we just take the top one. Um, and go ahead and screw this into the top one. Okay, so we have made our connections. Uh, the PC's on, the pinball machine is on, and now we're going to get into the software. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set up a tripod here real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. Um, so the first thing I want to do, I think, is we want to launch... All right, well, actually, let's look at the files that we downloaded from the website here. Uh, so I have a P2K folder. Um, there's the update manager, which is going to be the software we're going to use to update it. And this going, So let's go ahead and install that. Um, so we're installing the update manager. And then the other files that we have um, is an EXE, which I believe is a, a self kind of like compressing zip file that... Uh, self-executing zip file that has all of our uh, our code that we need to transfer so let's go ahead and install this update manager yes 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 I'm sure it's not installing uh, some kind of Yahoo toolbar or something <laughs> all right so here we go what's it doing it's thinking about something on your mark uh, What's happening here? Do -do. Come on, install. This file is puny. I don't know why it's uh, thinking about what it's doing here. Okay, here we go. Slow computer, I guess, huh? Setup is creating icons, it says. Oh, come on, this is annoying. <laughs> All right, so let's say yes, let's launch the program. Okay, so here we are, this is the update manager. Um, now, let's say 
let's go ahead and say connect to game. So I'm going to click connect to game. And uh, and by the way, I'm using the default. It said cannot connect on COM1, huh? All right, well, let's try COM2 because remember, I had two ports down there and uh, I might have plugged into COM2. So let's try it again. I'm just using the default settings. Uh, it says connection speed, uh, baud, and that's the fastest setting. Um, so let's try it again on COM2. And hopefully, oh wow, it's not working. I wonder if I need to put the game into a mode. I bet you I do. Hang on one second. Okay, we're back. Um, you know, I, I was unable to connect at all uh, with the computer to the, the uh, Revenge from Mars. Um, what I did is I followed the, uh, the cord that was inside the game board to the back of the into the computer to make sure that was all connected, and it was. Um, and then I did some research online. Some people said that, um, that this uh, serial port here should be plugged into a COM port 1 on the motherboard. And so I pulled the computer out and I looked at it and uh, this plug here, um, which is what goes to the coin door, which is what we plug the computer into, um, was plugged into uh, on the uh, motherboard here what was labeled P2. Now, I don't know if that means COM2, but I'm going to assume that it does. And so I swapped uh, it from P2 to P1. So let's put this back together and see what happens. Okay, I have the game back together. So again, all I did there was I switched the, uh, uh, the serial connector that connects to the motherboard from P2 to P1, which according to some guys online that were having problems like this, um, was a mistake from the factory. So, all right, let's let's give this a try again and see if we can get some communication to the game. Um, let me go ahead and get this set up here again. I actually also booted into Windows 98 to see if um, it would work, and it, it, it didn't work, so, which is why I took the game apart. Okay, so let's, which by the way sucked. You know, this should be a very simple thing to do, and if this fixes it, um, it's kind of crappy, but all right. So let's uh, let's zoom in here. Um, okay, so let's try it again. Let's say connect to game. Please work. And it did. There it goes. It says connected to game five zero zero seven zero, and it's running version one point four. Okay, so now we need to update it. Uh, and uh, I believe what I need to do now is. I need to extract the uh, files here. Um, so we're going to use this file here, which is 160. Um, again, I, I got this from a friend. If you do some searching, you can find this version. Um, okay, so there it is. It just extracted everything. Pin 2000, these are all the boot data and all that. Um, let's take a look at the readme file I just saw there. Um, so here's a game list. And it says, uh, Revenge from Mars is 50070, and Star Wars Episode One is 50069, okay? So, so Revenge was 50070, which is this folder here, so this is gonna be our files for Revenge from Mars. Now we need to, I'm gonna put that on my desktop. So now we need to get that into here. So I'm gonna say, um, I guess scan drive for updates? Oh boy, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna scan the whole hard drive uh, yeah I don't want to do that let's get out of this okay that was a mistake all right let's don't send let's try this again so I guess don't push that button there's got to be a way to select the uh, let's connect to the game again. All right, so it's connected. So how do I... Hmm, this should be very simple, right? So this is in my I folder. All right, I guess I'll just hit scan drive for updates. Uh... Which seems kind of silly to scan an entire hard drive. Why can't I just select a directory? All right, I'm going to push it, and we're going to let it go. Um, I'm going to pause the video. Scan.
scanning drive eye for, oh, oh, it found it. Okay, never mind. I guess it was quick. So here it is, select. Okay, so it did, it, actually that was very fast. I'm impressed uh, for software that was developed 13 years ago. Uh, okay, so it found uh, the version 1.60 from September 22nd, 2003. Um, it, we're gonna upgrade, uh, update the game and the sound programs. Uh, and I guess now we just go ahead and click this update button and we let it do its thing. Oh, unable to update due to update failure. Huh, well that sucks. Let's try it again. Hmm. This should be easy. <laughs> I wonder if I should boot into Windows 98. It's totally locked up here. You know what? I am going to do that. I'm going to boot into Windows 98. So let's do that and I'll be right back. And while it's booting, I just wanted to show you this. Can you believe this screen? I mean, I haven't logged into this partition on this computer in like 15 years. And when this came up, I was like, whoa, it just seems, it seems so long ago. Wow. Anyway, all right, let's let it boot and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we booted into 98 and this is like a time capsule for me, man. I mean, so here's this wallpaper as I left it about 15 years ago. It's my old band radio slave. <laughs> We were so badass. All right, anyway, so let's go ahead. Actually, what's on this computer? It's kind of fun to be in here. <laughs> so, uh, Cakewalk, Clone CD, GameSpy. Remember GameSpy? Wow, that was a big deal. Uh, Printmaster, Prodigy Internet. Wow. Quake 3, uh, QuickBooks, uh, Rocket Arena 3. Remember Real Audio? What happened to Real Audio? They just vanished. SoundForge, Trillion, Unreal Tournament. Oh, Urban Terror, that was cool. That was like a mod for Unreal, wasn't it? Um, anyway, yeah, this is this is like a time capsule here. All right, so let's let's go into. Uh, all right, let's see if we can connect to the game. All right, so it has connected. Um, we're gonna scan the drive. I, I on this computer. Let's make sure this is what what drive is this? This is in drive C. All right, so we're going to go ahead and scan drive C for updates, and hopefully it will be as quick as it was last time. Scanning, scanning, scanning. All right, so it, there it found version 1.6. All right, let's try it again. Update. Ah, oh, damn it. Unable to update due to F update failure 7. Hmm. Let's try, uh... I'm going to try a slower speed on the baud. I wonder if that will help. I'm just, I'm just, no, it will not. All right, let me go figure out what that, all, unable to update due to F update failure. Interesting. I'm going to go research that. Okay, I just actually uh, re-extracted the, uh, the file, the zip file with the game code. So let's, let's just try this again. And it's not working. God bless it. Um, I heard that if you go in here and you extract the files again, here, one. Okay. So I just navigated to the Pinball 2000 folder and then I extracted the zip file in there. So let's try it again. This is really. Okay. Ah, uh, it's doing it. All right. Okay, so basically what happened there, and I think this takes about 15 minutes, and I pray to God and that it's going to work. Okay, so what I basically did there is when I told it to scan for the code, it actually moved the EXE file into this PIN2000 folder that's in my C drive, C program files, PIN2000. It moved the exe file but didn't extract it so i just extracted it and then didn't scan and then just said update does that make sense so now it's doing it um you can see it's updating if we come up here flash update in progress so 
let's cross our fingers here that this doesn't screw up because uh, I don't know what would happen if this screwed up. So I'm going to turn the camera off because I think this is going to take about 15 minutes. So I will be right back. Just came down here to check on it and it's still going strong. Uh, it's about halfway through here. Uh, flash update in progress. So that's good. That's very good. So I'll be back. Okay, we're back. I actually missed it. I was upstairs and it's done. And look at that. Coin door is open. Revenge from Mars 1.6. So we were successful, successful in updating my RFM. So you know what? This video was supposed to be 10 minutes long. I swear to God. I mean, this this should have been very easy to do, and it wasn't. Just like the damn video amplifier when I put that in. So we had some problems. So let's let's review what happened here. Okay. So the first thing we had uh, was that the uh, the serial cable inside the PC on the Revenge from Mars PC was connected incorrectly to uh, the, uh, the the PCI card or, or you know the card on the outside. Uh, the ribbon cable um, was plugged into P2. So on the outside of the uh, PC, there is the plug where you plug it into, and then on the inside is a ribbon cable that goes to the motherboard. That ribbon cable was plugged into P2. It should have been plugged into P1. Okay, so that was the first thing. And then the second thing was this buggy-ass software. Uh, basically, when you scanned, when I clicked on scan drive for updates, it was essentially moving the EXE file, the, the self-extracting zip file, into the pinball 2000 folder but not extracting it so what i did then is i went into the c program files pin 2000 folder and i found the exe file the self-extracting exe file that this software moved and i m manually extracted it by clicking on the exe file and then i came back in here and then did update and did not do a scan though i just said update because it already said this it found this and then bam it started updating so all right guys hopefully you learned something and uh I haven't played a game yet. I'm ass I'm assuming this this works. <laughs> so let me uh, actually let's let's just make sure the game works. I'm sure it does. But let me un let me unplug the uh, the cable here. I wonder what's different about 1.6. If there's gonna be anything noticeable, I, I suspect not. Um, so let's see. So yeah, it works. We're all good. Anyway, guys, there you have it. So that was the RFM update video. Um, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my little channel and subscribing. If you've never subscribed to my channel, now would be a great time to do that. Go ahead, click that subscribe button. I release new videos every Sunday. And, of course, my podcast, The Video Game Outsiders, we broadcast live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern at allgames.com. That's every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern live at allgames.com, Video Game Outsiders. <laughs> Com. All right, guys. Anyway, that's it. We'll see you later. Thanks for viewing and adios. <laughs>